I feel like everything that's meaningful, everything that's memorable comes from a unique place. It, 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 there, there's all this talk about being global in the world. And, and, and of course, and I know what that, what that means. It means, you know, you, you're, you're using, building a communication network that is all over the world. That means you're global. But however, as far as trying to build a, a brand or, or a personality that's memorable, it always comes from a unique place. And usually it comes from, from like a smaller place. And I think that what graphic designers do and what people who do branding all the time, you're basically telling stories. You're telling stories in combination of, with words, with, with uh, messaging and language, but also visually. I'm always encouraging my clients that first of all they need they need to brag in a good way. You know, there's this thing called the Texas brag, and and some of my clients are in places like in the Midwest or whatever, and and you know, uh, like Utah or whatever, and and they have a uh, this uh, idea that you know it's uncool it's uh, it's uncouth to to brag, and I'm always like, well, there's a good way to brag. You know, there's a good way to be proud of where you're from and to. And, and to brag about things, you don't have to be as, you know, braggad braggadocious as like, you know, like most Texans, but, but you should be proud of those things and you should, you should embrace them and you need to use them in your storytelling. It seems like in the branding work that you do, there's always a editorial component to how you roll that brand out and how you kind of expand it from, from the mark. I, I love editorial work. For that very reason is because it's storytelling and I really believe in storytelling and what I love about editorial particularly magazines which I may be the last art director in the world that still does print publications and I do a lot of them mm -hmm. um, you know mostly for universities all over the country but what I love about editorial is it's a, it's not just design it's a combination of design it's layout it's working with illustrators, photographers. I love working with writers. I love the editorial craft of working with an editor, working with a writer, working with, with headline writers, uh, working with photographers who are also st telling stories and illustrators who are telling stories. And, and I love, you know, collaborating with, with all those folks to tell one big story, which is basically this publication. Now, a lot of those publications, you know, are still being printed, but a lot of them were designing just for the web. But to me, it's still the same process. You know, it's still it's still telling a narrative in an engaging visual way that actually means something at the, at the end of the day. What you're talking about there seems to seems to be one of the things that's receding um you know i think with the advent of digital media and performance marketing and all of these things uh, marketers and brand builders are relying more and more on those things to kind of bring people to their products um as right. opposed to telling those stories that people kind of want to engage now now that you know that we've entered a more modern age you know i have 24 partners a lot of them, have, you know, don't design books or magazines at all. Most of them probably don't. Um, a lot of them still do, like Michael Beirut and, and Paula Scher still design magazines, and, and Luke Heyman designs lots of uh, magazines. Um, but, they're, you know, even though, like, a lot of my, my partners now are designing in, in very uh, cutting-edge, you know, technical platforms, they are still using storytelling and, 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 and narrative to in, in those platforms, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I see it and that's the way they think. And I, I see them doing that. And I think that, I think that's really valuable to these new, these new high tech platforms. It's really valuable because storytelling is really what we've done from the very beginning as graphic designers. If someone, who owned a brand or, or was kind of building one and they were interested in sort of using editorial work and storytelling to, to build their, their brand. Like, how would you, 
advise them to think about it and and like what sort of process would you encourage them to follow i feel like everything that's meaningful everything that's memorable comes from a unique place it it, it there, there's all this talk about being global in the world and 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 of course i, I know what that what that means it means you know you you you're using building a communication network that is all over the world. That means you're global. But however, as far as trying to build a, a brand or, or a personality that's memorable, it always comes from a unique place. And usually it comes from, from like a smaller place. It's hard to design something or, or come up with a brand that, that's just global. Like, what does that mean? And, you know, it has to come from somewhere. So what I always tell my clients is, you need to embrace who you are. You need to you need to be true to who you are, and you need to tell that story of who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to be global. Try you know, let's let's explore like where are what are your roots? Where do you come from? What are those things that are unique? What are those things that that formed you as as a company or as a brand? And let's embrace those things and let's use those things in, in our communication, in our mm-hmm. visual communication, but also in our messaging. And, and that always, you know, it doesn't matter what, who the client is. Uh, that's where most of my ideas come from, is, is looking like where is that brand from? What, is, what are the things that make them interesting? I mean, I think fairly often... Uh, people have a little bit of um, a complex or they, they think that that story is not good enough or not strong enough yeah. or not interesting enough or why would anyone care about this, you know, would be the sort of thoughts going through people's brains. Like how, how do you find that and how do you yeah. kind of give them the confidence to go, okay, you know, like I I, I agree and let's, let's go yeah. for this because it's much easier to sort of fall in line with the design trend that's been validated multiple times by multiple other people. It's not as risky or as exposed or you're not exposing yourself as much. It is a little scary because it's kind of intimate. It's kind of looking at who you actually are as a brand. Where, where do you come from? You know, some of those things, like, like you just said, it might, it might be that, you know, Oh, well, Oh, nobody's going to care about that. You know Um, I, you know, I want to look like this. We want to be, you know, but, but I, what, what I do with my clients is I, you know, I have lots of conversations and then through just casual conversations, I'll ask questions like, so what, can you tell me a little bit more about that aspect of, you know, of what you're doing? Where does that come from? I also love this idea of explore it through your eyes because yeah. people are so often very passionate about what they're making, what dent they, they kind of making in the world what problem they're solving why their product is important and i think if you can engage with that you you get away from the sort of mundane sameness of so much of the communication you see out there well the other thing is you know since i'm an outside observer Hmm. you know i i can point those things out to you and you may have you, you may have thought well this isn't that interesting but then i can say well, actually, that is very interesting. And to me, it's a very unique characteristic that has been formed in a very unique place. Uh, the thing that I'm taking away from this is to sort of tell these stories from a unique place. And I think you are very much the embodiment of that. I think you, you yeah. embrace you embrace your place and you share it. And, you know, I mean, even when you came to, to the design in Dalva, which is when I first sort of saw your your work you 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 brought cowboys with you and and a musician you know instead of doing what most of the other people do and they stand up and show their graphic design or their branding and that Mm -hmm. kind of stuff you actually brought that story hello youtube i'm ross drakes i'm the founder of nice work and thank you so much for your time at watching this video if you're seeing me it means you made it all the way to the end so we've at least done something right If you enjoyed this, we'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And I think more important than that is 
if you know someone who might need to hear this, if you think someone out there who, who needs this, this message in their life, please spread the link because it, it makes a huge difference to the world and it allows us to fulfill our message of making sure that there are no more bad brands in the world. Thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next video.